Today's expression, to fly under the radar. So this expression basically means to do something undetected, right? So it's pretty self-explanatory if you know the vocabulary here, but it's something we say a lot in English and uh, I heard it the other day and I thought that, you know, a non-native speaker might have a little bit of trouble picking that up and thinking, oh, fly under the radar, uh, just like that. So I wanted to help you and share this expression with you. If you're not familiar with all the words, you might be like, what, fly under the radar, what do you mean? I'm not sure if there's an expression that is comparable in other languages. Uh, I imagine there is, but it's probably not something you can translate literally. Like in Spanish, you can say uh, volar abajo del radar. I don't, I don't think that would work anyway. Basically, this expression is to do something undetected, but we also use it a lot in our everyday life. So we use it to talk about doing something without being detected. It's like saying, I don't want to get caught or I don't want to draw a lot of attention to myself. Uh, we use this expression a lot at work and in school uh, when we don't want to uh, stand out. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves. Maybe, for example, you didn't do your homework in your English class and you want to fly under the radar so that the teacher doesn't call on you and ask you questions about the homework. Or maybe even worse, they'll ask you to share your answers with the class. So in order to fly under the radar, you sneak into class with a group of friends um, so that the teacher can't really see you coming in directly and then you sit in the back of the class so that you're off the teacher's radar. And I'm sure we've all done this once or twice in our life. Uh, then later after class, when you're talking to your friends, you might say, oh, I'm so glad that I managed to fly under the teacher's radar in English class today. I didn't do the homework and I had no idea what we were talking about. So that is flying under the radar. Uh, here are a few more examples of how to use the expression. Yesterday, I left the office without locking up and uh, somebody got in and stole one of our computers. So I really tried to fly under the radar today uh, so my boss wouldn't see me and ask me about why I left the doors unlocked. I thought I could fly under the radar by wearing a gray shirt instead of a white shirt to work but my boss spotted me right away and made me go buy a new white shirt to wear for work that day. I got a job driving a truck and I didn't know what I was doing at all. Uh, I could only fly under the radar for a couple weeks until they caught on that I had zero truck driving experience. That's why you uh, shouldn't lie on your resumes. So have you tried to fly under the radar recently? Uh, or do you know somebody who's tried to fly under the radar recently? Go ahead and share your stories in the comments below. And also let me know if you have any questions as always or want me to explain an English expression or anything in English that is currently giving you some trouble. Check out my playlist of English expressions and phrasal verbs, and also subscribe to the channel if you would like to learn more English expressions. Keep learning and keep studying. Ciao! Don't forget to check out my Instagram at Learn English Expressions. Also, subscribe to this channel for more practical English lessons.